The next option over here, adjust the sensitivity when we're using tap the transient. We click it, and there's a sensitivity and a threshold setting. Let's leave it at the default, and let's see what happens when we tap the transient. So right now, if we tap the transient by hitting tab, it tabs to the main transients. But sometimes it misses a few, like this one right here, or these right here. It jumped from this one to this one. That's based on the sensitivity set up right here. If we make it more sensitive by raising this up here and bringing the threshold down a bit, now if we tap the transient, it's a lot more sensitive. It's a bit too sensitive, actually. Let's bring it up a bit more. That's a bit better. Now it grabs every transient, which makes it easier for splitting or cutting based on transients. And it's set up right here, which is also the same setting using dynamic split. Right over here, we would use this to cut up our items and we could adjust the transient sensitivity right here, which is the same thing as the one right here. Now I'm going to skip this one for a minute and do this one first. Treat media item edges as transients. By default, this is turned off. If we tab the transient, it's going to jump from here to here. It goes right from here to this one here, ignoring the edges of our item. Let's get rid of our fade. If we want those edges to count, as a transient, we would turn this on. And now, if we tab, one of the tabs is to the media edge, right here, and then moves on from there. So if we start over here and tab, even though there's no transient there, it still tabs to that spot, the media edge, as we're tabbing through. But by default, it's turned off. jump right over it. The next option will tab through MIDI notes. This is also off by default. Let's create a MIDI item. Let's add some notes to it. So if we click over here and tab, nothing happens. But if we want to tab through each note, turn this option on right here. And now if we tab, it tabs to every MIDI note, which is kind of helpful for pasting more notes in the same spot. So if we want to add this note over here, just paste it, and it pastes that note at the exact same spot as this note. And this also works with the inline editor turned off, even in this mode. We could tab through each one and maybe split them by each note or anything else you want to do. But again, that's off by default, but we could turn it on right here. I kind of find that helpful. In the next video, we're going to check out how locked items affect ripple editing behavior. Let's go. Mm -hmm.